Alright, what is up you guys? Of course, always welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle, which is truly the Skyrender. And today we're going to against the Llama Tree, and uh, not going to deny it, like, OU is OU, but I'm just always scared of what people decide to bring when, uh, when we have the ruling that you just simply are, um, no, OU. <laughs> And see that people take some liberties at times, and uh, I'm not the one to be 100% spiteful, but I have I had some issues, so hopefully my opponent here does respect my uh, call. And yeah, yeah, I mean this is wonderful. Thank you, Llama Tree, absolutely getting it. That said, <laughs> we have a like. Look at this, we have a um, pivot variant of... Um, a pivot variant she doesn't need to be that bad. Klefki must be spikes together with uh, foul play Executor. Just a common wall. And then we have um, the Dracovish, which is Dra Dracosalt, right? Arcosalt, maybe? Arcosalt it is. And Roll Traumas, which is huge against me. And yeah, just like um, Persian, I have no idea what to do about it. The only thing I got in my favor here is I have um, Dynamo, which is um, a magnet pull variant here, which is going to be huge for me. Um, that said, like his lead, he has two ways of dealing with me efficiently. Turn one, uh, I think Klefki is like his best overall Pokemon versus me. Uh, so I'm actually going to lead off with. Um, it's either going to be Klefki or it's going to be. Um, the pure ugly or a purloined Persian. It's it, it's a Persian. It's a lowland Persian. Um, but I have no idea how to deal with um, actually a lowland executor as it is. I like good defensive typing versus my team, and I won't, don't have like in first impression on my followings, which kind of would have been nice here. So let's see. He decides to lead off with Rotom, which is actually kind of good. He will actually outspeed me, which will be annoying, but uh, let's think about this, like his switching should be, he should Volt Switch and go into, um, we'll talk to Spikes here anyway, um, withdraws his hard switches to Klefki, yeah, makes sense, um, so we get our Toxic Spikes up and, um, and then I'm gonna try to lock him in. Um, he could just full on go for um, for spikes here. He has prankster, so he should be able to outspeed me or fun away me. Um, does avoid the hit, which is really unfortunate. <laughs> it's actually really bad. Um, you hate to see it. That's ninety percent for you. It means it's a guarantee miss. <laughs> so right, would you lock him in here? He is only allowed unless he can't switch out. We don't see leftovers, which makes me very, very nervous. Uh, it makes me actually want to do the flash cannon play over Thunderbolt. Let's see. He is a screener, so he's likely. Good. That's good. That's one turn. Let's see. Do I want to try this out? I kinda do. I have no reason not to go for Iron Defense. Defog. That's good. That's good. So it's Defog, Light Screen. It's whether or not he's full on support, right? I wanna see how many, many turns. Like, he's gotta realize he's locked in now. And I was thinking, oh my god, I messed up. I am trapped. Right, keeps defogging, it's good. Um, bit surprised not to see Reflect. Because I do want to defeat him before light screen ends. Right, it makes sense. I'm a bit surprised we don't see spikes. Um, most I can think of is that he's well, defog, light screen, 
Um, maybe reflect. Let's see. Info. How many turns? Either one or three more turns. So flash cannon again. We know it's minus one. I just want to have it in range, basically. No more spdf drop. Great. Reflect. There we go. There we go. All right. So this means he has one more turn of light screen. So we're going to go for another fake iron defense. And then proceed to knock him out. Now he's clearly reflected and that's going to be a hassle and a half, mainly because I do believe the Alolan variant of uh, Executor will potentially actually be able to shake me because because of Flamethrower. And um, I, like, I'm considering going for a Bonnet Press just to see how much damage I gauge on it, because after all, I think uh, it is much like... Um, like foul play, I don't believe uh, reflect and light screen are that big of a factor. I could be wrong, and I'm basically guessing, but I hope it is. Because I think a flamethrower will do a lot of damage. Let's see, brings in Ranger. I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt here. Mainly he goes for close combat. Or even worse, he's just an assault vest, soul sense variant. But no, see close combat. We stomach that just not fine at all. Ouch, that actually did hurt a whole lot. <laughs> Hopefully this Thunderbolt will be able to knock him out. His life orb actually. Come on, buddy. I need you to kind of break through here. <sighs> Forced to take another one of those. That's not pleasant at all. So did not stomach this Glade at all well. But it is another threat out of the way, so I guess that's kind of all right. But, oh, you mother. He got me. He got me, though. All right, that's actually phenomenal. Um, <laughs> did I get greedy? I don't know. That credit would be nice the turn before, but um... <laughs> okay. But I got Cliffy out of the way, and um, let's see now. I should actually bring on Fissend, as it is a Scarf Pokemon that could easily force out the majority of his remaining Pokemon. And I want to see the Lolling Sigitor or Persian. There I go. Nice. Exactly what I was looking for. Because this guy should have Parting Shot, right? The slow U-turns. I should not be able to do any damage on this at all. But... I'm feeling... Oh, it's Rocky Helmet. What a mad lad. This is one of those few times where I really, 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 really wish... I can't deny it. That was defiant. <laughs> because that parting shot that's coming my way would have been wonderful to get right here. But, no matter. We're bad llama. <laughs> because of your Shifu, the second that guy is gone... We are not going to elaborate on this guy at all. Um, that said, though, oh, he brings in Rotom. Huh. Kind of surprised not playing. We know Thunder Wave already, and that's not the end of the world. Um, just gonna send in this guy. I think it's gonna Thunder Wave. Like that's the easy play. Now, I happily take a Thunder Wave. Trick. All right, will you choice maybe? Let's see, choice specs. Oh, buddy, oh, buddy. This, this turn, this will not turn out good for you. I mean, I got a sludge bump here. There is, um, like, send your switch and I'm game. Absolutely switches out towards probably sacking Arc Assault or Persian by all means. This is gonna sting. Wow. That, he is absolutely out. Um, 
Still though, still got a low next GQ duo, which I do not enjoy switching into. An Oracle Salt here, or I think it's Oracle Salt, could actually, with Ice School Crash, maybe knock me out. It isn't Hustle, which is good. Oh, he sends back Rotom. Okay. You did not enjoy it, maybe? No, he tricks me back. <laughs> All right, that's fair. <laughs> this slush will do all right, but it, yeah, makes sense to not be able to stay with that item. I think it's pretty much an order loss if he decided to bring with it. Now we should Thunder Wave, I think. His choice specs though, so probably lock himself to Thunderbolt or switches out. Yeah, exactly. To Hmm. Yeah, eventually he came. Do I have something to take this obstacle crash? I mean, yeah. Mm. I have something to take the obstacle crash, that's for sure. Is whether or not I can take anything else. Like that electric move that is boosted, if it's faster, I'm clearly taking the full effect of that hit now. If he decides to go for it. Ice Cream Crash, good. Um, now, here's the thing. I will always outspeed him, so I think my play should be Soul Stance here. He won't get the full effect of that electric move. It's so, alright, so I stay in. Um, like I said, the only positive part is that he doesn't get to double the power of Bolt Beak, but it will still sting. So, however, I think this wraps up the game. If he's not like extremely bulky. Wait, this is resisted. I am dumb. This is, this was not the play. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> not that Flame Shore is gonna do that much damage anyway. You know what? I'll take it. It was leftovers. That's actually kind of cool. I'm down with that. Hell yeah. Right, sending in Legion and um, we do the obvious play here, right? We do we do the no retreat. It's finally it's finally happening. I can only assume his play here is um, sacking this Pokemon, forcing me to go for the close combat and uh, I'm gonna close combat whatever I face. Come on, buddy, 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 I wanted more out of that Pokemon, I really did, but yeah, it's still a Silver Valley with the perks of that Pokemon that is simply none. Now, if this Alolan Executor is a Trick Room variant, I am not sure I can beat it. I'm gonna maximize my damage output. We get him Toxic, which is gonna be wonderful. It's gonna frisk me, the Shed Shell, because I can't switch out. For anybody who wonders, that's why you shed shell and no retreat, because there are always going to be situations where everything just goes south. Let's see, Crosso Combat us. Not even close. Jesus. Will we see Trick Room? No, we see Rain. I'm actually fine with that. But we don't stomach it, but I am fine with that. Uh, <laughs> okay. You did your best, Legion. You did your best. Um, how do I stop him though? Like, Choice Scott Raybird, right? He's special at least. He always will be special to me. Um, but yeah, like, I feel I want to sack play this. Because I have ways of dealing with Rotom, and I have no idea what amount of HP Rotom is in. 
but I want a U-turn and I really just don't want to make the big, 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 gamble. Because I feel Rotom is such an easy switch in and it could punish me. I should just Brave Bird. This guy. This guy. Oh, it is enough though. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. That crit clearly, if he went for Trick Room there, I pretty much would say it's over. I would Trick Room stall through all of this. Um, all right. It doesn't matter though, I bring in Sylvie, I'm gonna bring, basically wrap up the game with the Pokemon that ended it all. And, um, I'm just gonna say this, like, Dragology was phenomenal. I should've just Brave Bird though, looking back at this play, I didn't remember how much HP was left on the Roll Charm, but thinking about it, it would've made the most sense. I just want a really, really good picture of Dragology if possible. Um, the red background is not helping. Can you make that with Dragology? Maybe? There we go, nice. Um, thank you for that. <laughs> Discharge, alright. Cool. Could get me paralyzed. Didn't. Draco connects. And, uh, yeah. I mean, this was actually kind of a cool game, though. I'll give granted to my opponent. I think he had a weaker theoretical team versus me. However, I think um, it also was a vastly superior <laughs> Surge Ice team. And while I did win here, and mostly to do with um, that um, trick play on his uh, Roll Charm, because allowing Dragology to break through harder than it ever could was clearly not never his intentions. So, with that said, guys, thank you, of course, always for watching, and have a great day, everyone.